Can you guys read the title of the stream? It came in so quickly! Like, I literally ordered this like two days ago! I obviously have no makeup on right now. And I obviously have the Jeffree Star Bloodlust palette. So, we're gonna do a makeup stream today and then we'll play some League of Legends later. I start with the eyes, but before I go into the eyes, I actually just put on concealer and a bit of foundation to get rid of like the dark circles and all. This concealer is the NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer. And let me tell you, do not buy this because it's overpriced horseshit. Literally, like, how much did I pay for it? Like 40 USD or some shit. Does not cover my dark circles. Like I can get things that are way cheaper that are way better. It's like don't get this. It, it's a scam. I swear to God it's a scam. How can this tiny piece of shit cost, cost like $40? I don't understand. For me to get rid of my dark circles, I know that I have to use a stronger concealer. So if I'm really wanting to get rid of my dark circles, I use like this concealer. It's like a hard concealer. And I got this from YesStyle. This one is the the same S-A-E-M Cover Perfection Pop Concealer. I'm only gonna put a little bit of foundation. I'm using the Maybelline New York 24-hour stay foundation, I think. I just put a tiny bit and just to cover up the eye bit because I do I like to do like a more glam eye look and usually there's fallout or sometimes there's fallout, so. I'm just taking or getting rid of the color. Don't want to cover my face with foundation. By the way, guys, I am colorblind. I'm not memeing or joking around when I say I'm colorblind. I actually am colorblind. So sometimes some colors are just a bit like hard for me to tell. Like I can't tell if this is a blue or purple. I'm going to use that color for like giving me some depth um, to replace a black because I usually use a black for the outer part. I'm gonna use this color and then I'm gonna use this color. This is gorgina. So what I like to do is I just like to cover my eyes all with like one color of whatever. I like to bring the shadow into my nose contour. I haven't contoured my nose just yet, but I'm just bringing it in. It does look crazy at first when you do it. Like it's sort of like, oh, that's a lot of eyeshadow. Like, and you wonder, like, is it in the right place? But it works. Do you guys want me to do, like, my very sharp edge eyeshadow look? Do you know how I actually did get that very sharp edge? This is what I do. I don't own any, um, eyeshadow tape, so... The only problem is this stuff does not stick well. It does not stick well at all. Looks crazy, I know. Oh! He's coming off! I'm gonna go into this color now, that grayish purple, just to darken up the corner. So with the sticky note, you can literally just like have your brush here on the sticky note and just like brush inwards like that. That gives you that nice finish. I'm gonna go in with my white concealer now or white liquid lip to cut the crease. So I just like to put on my nail and then I get my brush and cut the crease. Now, I actually like to mix in the white concealer with the eyeshadow. So like, it's not like just a straight up white cut crease. It's like a purpley cut crease or whatever it mixes in with. You want the concealer or the cut crease to also go into the inner corner. See what I mean? It's like going into the inner corner. That's what you want. I don't really like having my cut crease too perfect, like too straight. I still like it to be a little bit blurred. That's up to you guys, what you guys like. And then you can just blend out this part. I'm now gonna use this gorgeous color right here. It's called Pink Magic. It looks so beautiful in person. I don't know how you guys, I think it's a bit too blink, so you guys just see white, but it's so beautiful. And then I use a black con uh, concealer, <laughs> black eyeliner, and then I just lined a lot of eyes. So I go into the inner corner, so like this. Mm -hmm. 
Like I actually get into that, you see that how I got into that inner corner? This sticky note is a bit of a struggle, honestly. It's not sticking. This part is a little messy just because the sticky note wasn't completely sticking. So you can do whatever with the bottom lash, but pretty much what you want to do with the Asian eyes that, or if you have the same Asian eyes as I do, you pretty much just want to put like a darker corner and then like a shimmer uh, down here. So I'm just, I'm literally just going to use the same colors. So I'm going to use this one. So this is the one I used for my whole entire eye before. And now when using a fat, flat brush, it's important to get your angling right. So if you do this, you're going to smudge the um, color really down. So you have to do more pointed like this to get the accuracy. Because you don't want to build your eyeshadow down. Your eyes with Asian, like, I don't have a lot of eyelid space to begin with. If I bring my eyeshadow too down, then it's going to be out of balance. So you just, you want color, you want depth, but you don't want to build your eyeshadow too down. So you got to get that angling just right and you don't want to bring the color too in for it so we're going for that like i guess baby pink color or whatever it's called wet jaw now you can if you want highlight the inner corner with whatever highlighter you have but i generally just leave it like this so the eyes are pretty much complete in terms of eyeshadow we just still have to do a bit of eyelining. So I like to tight line my eyes when I do something like this type of look. When it comes to the bottom one, I'm only aligning the outer corner like this. Oh, sorry, tight lining. See how I only did the outer corner and that's it. And then we do the upper lash. And then now we do put on lashes and let me tell you lashes is when everything comes together <gasps> should i do purple eyebrows <gasps> oh obviously i need like a purpley dark one so this color is you guys say the purpley gray that works well so i'm just gonna dip in do that i don't make my eyebrows too perfect These purple eyebrows are cool. Like, it's not like a pop up purple, it's like. It's a subtle purple. Like, that's cool. Now for lashes. And again, lashes really make a look. I did not know about this until the longest time, but it also matters what type of lash you're using. So, the type of lashes I use is so they look like this. I used to think you can just chuck on like any type of lash, but no ma'am, you have to use the right lashes. Also, don't buy Kat Von D's eyeliner. I know it's good, but goddamn, it's so expensive. If you guys want an eyeliner that's cheap, go shop at YesStyle. Now, I don't have any eyelashes to begin with, so it's quite hard for me to put on mascara. Asian eyes are not gifted when it comes to eyelashes, but for my eyelashes with mascara, I do the same thing where I only coat the outer corner. Honestly, you guys probably don't even see the difference. If on camera, you probably don't see the difference. And in person, you, you honestly don't even make a difference. <laughs> but I do it anyways. Do you see the difference? Eyelash, no eyelash. It makes a big difference, doesn't it? Isn't it hard to wear eyelashes glasses? It is. I had a long, I had trouble of like having my eyelashes hit the lenses. But what you can do is buy glasses that have the padded. So not the plastic ones, but the ones with like the actual pads. They ha give you more distance to let you have eyelashes. Uh, I didn't get to tell you guys what glue I'm using, but I'm using a uh, Etude House glue, eyelash glue. This glue is actually used for double eyelids or to get that fake double eyelid and for eyelash. So there's that. And the eyeliner that I was using was the Maybelline New York Eye Studio Drugstore Queen. I was talking about the eyeliner before. So... I have owned the Kat Von D eyeliner. I remember, I think I paid like 35 Australian dollars or 35 USD or something. It was quite expensive. Well, maybe it was 20 USD. But bitch, it's expensive. 
But with this one, I got this eyeliner from YesStyle. I'm running out of it. I don't use this eyeliner for the glam look. I use this eyeliner more for when I'm doing like a natural look and I just want like a thin liner or whatever. But um, this one is like $6 Australian or $8 Australian, right? That's like five USD or something. Like cheap as hell. I could buy five of these and like they work just as well as Kat Von D's eyeliner. Now I will say, from what I remember, Kat Von D's eyeliner is like very pitch black and like, you know, matte, which is good. Whereas this eyeliner, there's only a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of like shine, but it's like not noticeable. Like it's truly not noticeable. It's like, it's still pretty like black and matte. So this, like if you want to save some coin, like get this eyeliner from YesStyle. Use code Lumina. So we're done with the eyes. And now we're up to face makeup. So I did have some fallout. Usually when I'm streaming, I'm not too anal about like full coverage. Sometimes like my acne still shows through and all. Like that's okay. Like we're all human. We have acne, right? I'm just using the Rimmel London Stay Matte Powder. I like to have pressed powders rather than loose powders. I can't with like the with the loose powders. Like I can't. I just rather have like a pressed powder and bam, bam, bam. Dun, 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 dun. Dun 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 dun. <laughs> Antonio Gaza. Suspense sound effect. Now, time for contouring. Now, I used to do my contouring, and I don't think many people talk about this because I think a lot of beauty girls just to go bam bam, like, get gotta get that cheekbone, honey. Like, they, they always do that sort of contouring, and I don't believe in it because not everyone has the same face shape. And on top of that, I think, at least for me, being a trans girl, I wanna feminize my face, right? And I know that there are certain contouring or the contouring that most beauty gurus do can make my face look more masculine. So what I used to do was, you see how a lot of times we have, uh, trans girls usually have like very harsh jaw lines or whatever. So for me to get rid of that harsh jawline, I don't have like a very, very harsh one, but like I still want to get rid of it. I used to contour like this, right? To try to get rid of it. But what I realized was that it made my face longer. Like if I, if I slim it down like that, it makes my face longer. And when I make my face longer, people clock me on it, right? Like most guys will be like, oh, your face is long. You look like a boy type of thing. They don't say that I, like I look like a boy because of my long face, but like, you know, you know, that's what they're thinking, right? Cause when you, when you're a trans girl, I think you, you have a sophisticated eye on like clocking yourself. Cause you stare at your face quite a lot, I, I think. So rather than um, contouring myself like this, I've decided to contour my ch cheekbone like this. So that way I can get rid of my harsh um, corner whilst also making my face look shorter. So like that, okay? So that's how I do my contouring for at least this part. If you want to give yourself like that V shape, like you know how like Korean girls like to have that like V, V, jaw, uh, v chin? You can do a little bit of mimicking or manipulation by doing just a little bit like that. A tiny, tiny bit. This should get rid of that harsh edge whilst also shortening your face just a tiny bit. And then we do the other side. I don't know if you guys notice it, but I definitely notice it. My face looks a little shorter, right? Now, again, because I don't want my face to be too long, I used to do my contour like this, right? The, the very, every beauty gear, you start from here and then you go to this mouth and you're bam, right? Cheekbones. Now for me, I have found that for me, when I do that type of like slimming down your face, my face is already long. I don't have like a super long face, but my face is already long enough um, and I know most people want to get that oval shape. That's what you ideally want, an oval shape. But my face, I already slimmed down a bit too much if I do that. And it makes my face way too long looking, which gives you that, you know, clockable, um, you know, you get clocked. So I more do horizontal contouring. So more horizontal rather than diagonal. Uh, 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 rather than diagonal, I do more more horizontal. And I don't really like going too harsh on contouring. I like to do like just shading rather than like boom, like a brown line. You see how like that did slim down my face without making my face too long looking. 
right I, I, I like to just give it a bit of shading not like a bam brown contour which a lot of beauty gurus like to do Um, it looks a little uneven, but that's just because like my lighting, but they actually are like the same contouring on both sides. But it's just because the lighting, um, there's more light coming hitting that, so this top part has more natural shade. And then I go on the top part of my head. Now again, because I don't want my my forehead, I don't want my face to be too long or whatever. You know, to be petite, I'm more contour my I used to contour all around here but I more focus my contour around here now I still put contour around in the temples I guess if you will but it's mostly up on the, the top part making my forehead look smaller so I don't have a five head I don't actually think I have a big forehead but I think when I'm on stream or camera and there's like that lighting and your foundation like washing out all your dimensions it makes your forehead look big so that contouring is um needed i do have blush but i don't have a blush that works with this eyeshadow look so i have a peachy blush which is warm tone and i, I don't want it to I, it won't work with this look so i don't have any pink blushes if you if you do have blushes i usually put my blush like so you would have your contour your highlighter I would usually put my blush around like the outer parts rather than like the inner part because when you put your blush on the outer part a little bit more up here it one lifts your face up but also makes your face look a little bit wider so your face isn't as long looking whereas if you put all your at least for me in my opinion if I put all my blush around the the apples I feel like my face looks longer which is not again not what I want although I want like an oval shape I don't want my face to look like like a horse long face right so to make it a little bit look wider put it on the outer parts like under there but again I don't have a blush color that works um with this eyeshadow look so I'm not I'm just gonna skip blush just contouring the nose I also like to lift my nose by contouring down here. So many insults. I can't even read them. I don't have my glasses on. <gasps> okay, let me see. I can barely read anything. Oh my god, he's a Fortnite player! <laughs> Gay is not okay. Okay, Fortnite player. So that is my contouring done. Now time for highlighter. So I like to go on my nose. And then on the cheekbones gorgeous I'm actually done with all my face now so the only thing left is lips what about clout would that work <gasps> imagine going all out with it I mean bitch why not right why not I was, I'm a little tired of doing like the boring ass natural nude red like let's just go with it right let's just fucking go with it i, I want to play with some color okay this we're fishing for some clouds with this so this is clout jeffree star this is like a lavender type of um silver isn't it i'm actually vibing with this look I'm actually vibing with this look. I'm bored of doing reds, okay? I'm bored, I'm bored of doing nudes and all. We're here with fun with color. I ain't no basic bitch that plays with like nude, nude lip, red cool tone lip like bitch. I'm here for this. It's what you call clown makeup. <laughs> I'm kidding. Will you try wigs? I actually bought two wigs. So they're on their way. <laughs> Trixie Mattel could never. Um, who was it? Was it Too Faced? Too Faced calling Jeffree Stars? Makeup clown makeup. Hello.
<laughs> I'm really living for myself. I'm really living for myself. Let's play some League of Legends now. You're boosted platinum. Okay, got the challenger. Boosted the hell. I love that. I love this Inferno guy. I'm actually loving Inferno. He's so pissed off at my existence. I sort of love him. I'm so sorry. <gasps> yes, Justin! Yes! Thank you! Wow! Get this at the effect. Thank you! Period! Period, period, period. Thank you so much. You can use my emotes, Inferno. Yes! Uh, use my emotes! We have aluminum, period. We have the hand, we have the tea, we have a high. Like, thank you so much. Oh, thank you so much. I hope you enjoy your sub. Welcome to the family, Inferno. My ears. <laughs> he likes my voice. <laughs> Do you like it? Do you like it, Inferno? Welcome! <laughs> this laugh truly needs to be my sub sound. Maybe I'll record it and make it a sub sound. Thank you for the sister sub! <laughs> Thank you for the donation! <laughs> that would actually so good. Like, I really should make that my sub sound. Thank you so much for rating my channel. How to do the SpongeBob laugh? Kids always want to learn how to do the SpongeBob laugh. I always tell them it is a three step easy process. Three steps. Step one, make a noise like a smoke detector low on batteries. E Doing that, you just move your hand up and down on your neck and rattle it around, you know? E they love it. Perfect. Me, <laughs> That should be my sub sound. The talent. I truly was meant to be a voice actress. Okay, we got to go on this. Oh, that hook was not it. Hook child. Anyways. A anyways. Anyways, you got this, sweeties. <coughs> oh, nice flash. Go, go, go. Wait, did this bitch have heal before? Did this bitch have heal and she didn't heal me? Okay. I see how it's like. Up, oh, child, anyways. I thought they would keep running. I can't do anything at the moment. Nice. Oh, nice. Oh, I actually missed lol. Um, I totally missed three targets. <laughs> Honestly, the SpongeBob laugh is actually really fun to do. Oh, they surrendered. <laughs> Honestly, the, that's the laugh of an incel right there. That's the laugh of Inferno's laugh. <laughs> We're doing with your jelly. You think he'd be stupid enough to bash? Oh. Let him go and nobody gets hurt. Oh my god, that's actually scared me. Look at him trying to stand behind him again. Did he have heal? <gasps> I'm getting fucking minion blocked. What the fuck? <gasps> 
That's what you call transphobia right there. That's what you call transphobia. My name is Jin and I'm an incel. Oh, show your face, Jin. Oh my god. Oh shit. It looked like he went into the war, so I cancelled whatever ability he just used, but I don't know if I did. So that's why I flayed, because I wasn't too sure he was going to dash away. You cancelled his dash out, okay. I shouldn't have flayed then. I'm so talented right now. And the gin isn't pink shit. Yes, you jellies. Ari, I'm doing that. Hmm. I wonder if I should have went on that. Bitch, kill him. Shut up. I don't need your nice job, bitch. Shut up. Okay, nice. <laughs> Cocktail shot real. I fucking know, right? I don't need a good job. You're a hoe. Fuck you. Nice. I don't think I was gonna land that hook. I think he could have just kept on running and I was gonna miss that hook and then Jin would have been <laughs> You're so bad. You should have just played. Shut your mouth. Oh god. Chomp anyways. Anyways, I didn't want him to really take the lantern too soon because the minion wave was crashing and I couldn't get that hook off another game. Rocker. The crucible. <gasps> you jelly the house! She did that. You jelly the house. Up. Oh. Or not the house. Up! Oh. He flashed in. Oh. oh no. Oh no, ma'am. Oh no, ma'am. <gasps> you jelly the house! Uh. <gasps> oh! Oh! You jelly did that! You jelly did that! Oh! Uh, we'll pretend we didn't see that. see that stun. What? That's actually OP. I didn't even see that Vegas stun and I got stun. That's actually clownery. I 
clownery! Okay, I was like, I was actually gonna scream if he lived. I, uh, my ping. So you can actually walk through a Vega stun. Like you can actually walk through Vega's wall with your crucible. But I didn't activate my crucible because of my ping. The easiest way to me for me to explain crucible is like Ezreal's E. You know how Blitzcrank can't hook an Ezreal? Like the hook land, but Ezreal can still arcane shift away because the way arcane shift is broken up is like you cast it and then you teleport. That's pretty much crucible. So you have, but it's a smaller window. So you have to use a crucible just before you get hit by a stun. But with my 200 ping, like it didn't go off. Like it's still, it's not on cooldown. But I did press it before I hit the wall. It's just that 200 ping. Yes, I saw the Ioki. I even commented on it. That Ioki Morgana bit. Like, oh no, I need help. I'm dead. See, I just walked through the Vega. <laughs> did you see how I just walked through the Vega stun? Not that it mattered because I'm still dead. But I walked through the Vega right there. Because I crucible just before. You can't crucible after. You have to do it before. Jelly! Oh my god, don't even ping me! Look at that on all oh, floppy. How can he ping me with a on alt like that? Like don't even sweet to you. You jelly's actually carrying I actually think Oh no. I think you jelly's carrying so hard. Nice, nice, nice. I know you jelly's actually carrying with her picks. What the fuck is his problem? Nice. Okay. They saw Baron, that's okay. Also, did you guys know that Orn, when Orn upgrades your redemption, you get the, the cooldown gets reset. So you can actually redemption twice in the fight. Not that it'll be too useful because it gets reduced healing, but if you ever. <gasps> that bard ult just saved us. Oh god. The bard ult just saved us from the Vega ult. <gasps> I'm lagging! Uh, I don't think I needed to use my Crucible, I think I was fine. But yeah, I crucible it again through the, sh uh, the Vega War, if anyone didn't see or notice. I walked into them because of my lag, which is so sad. Oh my god, the minions. I actually should have played that. I know Orn is so tanky. Are you jelly thrash do I? I wish I could like um voice chat with her, but I know she likes to concentrate and she says she can't concentrate when she GG support <laughs> better support wins. Honestly, no, I don't think it's a better support wins. I think it's actually a mid lane. Like I'm pretty sure you jelly carried. I, I know her damage doesn't say so, but I'm pretty sure you jelly her picks were actually so good. Like she charmed Literally everyone, I swear to god, I pretty sure charmed everyone. <laughs>